Hello, I am now. Today I will be your exercise and companion. We will do three repetitions of each exercise. All right, Jake, so this is the brain computer interface device. So it reads your brain signals. Yeah. Um, so we'll do some training with the robot so it gets used to you and is personalized to you. Yeah, it's just kind of strange, but being used to f human physio for the last six months is hard to replace, but having this and having nothing, so people are isolated. Like. Like if I can see sitting on my hospital bed and the physios in the hospital are so busy, this is a good key thing for interacting with people that definitely need the physio. What that does is when you're about to try and lift your arm. What we've found is the, the once the patient realizes that they are in fact controlling the robot. It gives them a sense of control, but it also gives them a sense that the robot is exercising along with them. As if you were, were exercising with a partner, you see they start to move, you start to move in conjunction with them. You would prefer what you would find more motivating. This project is so important. We know how vital it is that especially stroke patients get the treatment they need as effectively as possible and as quickly as possible. We also know that the NHS is stretched, so therefore being able to use robotics to really personalise that care is going to be key for the best outcomes for those individuals. You have completed the set. Great work.